Guys, Duncan Meter here. I want to welcome you back to the channel. I really want to thank uh, all you guys, all my subscribers for tuning in, uh, for liking all my videos and subscribing. It's really appreciated and we're really growing this channel together. Uh, and I just want to say thank you. So what do I have here? This is a hard case to store some of my handguns. And what is this not? This is not a Pelican case. I actually got this case at Home Depot on Black Friday. You're not going to believe what I paid. Take a guess. You're wrong. I paid $24 for this case. I've actually got two of them. Uh, it's made by Husky. Uh, it's about, I'd say maybe 13, 14 inches by about 12 inches by about a foot. Uh, and it's a pretty nice case. I've actually had it for some time. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. I think I bought it uh, to store my handguns in, but I wasn't really sure how I wanted to lay them out. Full disclosure, I'm still not entirely sure. I've kind of placed the Glock 19 here and the Glock 26 uh, on the case. Uh, and I've placed a single magazine here to try to figure out, uh, is this what I want to do? Do I want to just put one gun and multiple magazines? Do I want to put two guns? I don't really know. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this two gun layout uh, because what this will do for me is I can keep the 19 and the 26. I can keep a magazine uh, in each of the guns. So that's two magazines. And then I was thinking I could just cut a little, uh, you know, spot out here. This case is pretty deep. This is probably like four or five inches. So I could actually just stack, you know, maybe another two or three magazines on top of each other, uh, you know, all the way down. That'll give me a decent amount of storage because as I've explained in some of my other videos, the magazine for the Glock 19 fits right into the Glock 26. Yeah, it's going to stick out a little bit, but I don't really care. It's going to give me more rounds. Um, and the purpose of this case, uh, you know, I have a range bag, which I really like. Uh, and if you guys haven't seen that review, it's on my channel. It's made by Orc Tactical. Uh, I absolutely recommend that range bag. It was about $60. I bought it on Amazon. Uh, I've had a lot of range bags through the years. That is hands down uh, the best I've owned. Uh, but with that being said, that bag has its limitations as well. I can carry a couple of handguns in there, my ammo, hearing protection, eye protection, uh, basic first aid kit. Uh, but at the end of the day, I might want to protect my firearms a little bit more and put them in their own padded case. So that uh, is kind of where this comes into play. Now, I've never actually cut uh, this stuff out before. I've seen a lot of other folks do it. So what I'm going to do, and I'm probably going to pause the video while I'm cutting it out, and then we'll come back and see uh, how it turned out. Uh, but I've laid the firearms out where I think they should be, uh, you know, to try to get the most uh, usage out of this uh, and, you know, keep a, a little bit of a space between them. I'm going to take a Sharpie here, and I'm going to kind of just trace, trace out, uh, you know, the outline of the Glock 19, at least to the best of my ability. And then I'm going to do the same with the Glock 26. And then I'm going to try to cut it out. And let's see how this turns out. Uh, again, I have not done this before. I am no expert at cutting these things out. But I don't think it can be that hard. Or at least I, I sure hope it isn't. Um, and like I said, the plan with this case is when I'm going to the range, and my gun bag is a little, you know, full. My range bag is a little to capacity. I could put these two firearms in here. Because, again, I, these, these firearms are kind of some of my favorites, the 19 and the 26. Uh, so I really want it to be a little protected. So I'm going to pause the video real fast. I've kind of traced this out. I'm going to trace the other one out. Uh, and then we're going to come right back, and I'm going to try to cut it out. Maybe I'll try to cut some of it on camera uh, so you guys can see how it turns out. All right, we'll be right back. Hey guys, so we're back. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this is actually way more difficult uh, than I thought it would be. So I tried to trace it out with the Sharpie. Uh, that actually didn't work out very well. Uh, you, you really can't see the black Sharpie on the black here. Uh, I've seen some other guys do it. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they use a different color Sharpie. Uh, and the one thing I noticed, this foam actually, I, f I was hoping it would have been, you know, two layers. It's really thick. So when you cut the foam out, the gun actually sinks all the way to the bottom. Uh, so what I did was I cut it out. Uh, I used the Leatherman. I definitely recommend the Leatherman. This goes right through the foam. Uh, really good to, to use. Uh, but what I did was I then took the Leatherman and I cut the foam in half and I kind of built it back up. So now it's actually at a, at a spot that I don't mind. Um, you know, like I said, I built it back up uh, to half the thickness. So the 19 fits in here pretty snug. I like that uh, with the magazine. So now I'm going to try to do the same uh, with the 26. 
Uh, and then we're going to come right back and then I'm going to cut out a slot for the magazine. Again, this box was only 24 bucks. So for what it is, I actually really do like it. Uh, you know, a Pelican case, those are great. Don't get me wrong, I own one. Uh, but you're going to pay 100 bucks. So for a box this size, I could pay $100 or I could pay $24. Uh, you know, and it may not be perfect. It may not be a 10 out of 10, but this is certainly a 7 out of 10, uh, which is great because this is not gold that I'm carrying. These are my handguns that I'm bringing to the range. So I'm going to pause. We're going to come right back. I'm going to cut this out, and then let's see how it looks. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, what I did was I cut out the other piece. Uh, again, not that easy, uh, but I actually don't mind the way it came out. I ran into the same problem with the Glock 26 in that this foam is uh, really deep. So if I were to cut out the place for the handgun and put the handgun in, it's going to sink to the bottom, and then I've got all this space on top. So I cut it out, uh, and then I took these out in chunks of three, and I kind of built the bottom back up a little bit. Uh, that way they're a decent distance uh, from the top. The case can close really nicely. Uh, it can latch down. I've got places for padlocks on here, uh, depending on where I'm going. Maybe the, the regulations require it. And then I cut out a little section here, and I let it go all the way to the bottom. Uh, and right here I'm able to fit three uh, Glock 19 magazines, uh, or two Glock 19 magazines and a, and a Glock 26. Uh, I could probably actually... Let's see if they fit like this. I'm not so sure that'll close, but let's give it a try. You know, it'll close just like that as well. So I can put them, uh, I can put them like this if I'd like, and that'll actually give me uh, capacity to fit uh, one more. That's a 26 mag. Uh, so yeah, I could fit four magazines in there. No problem. Button the case down. I've got the Glock 26 in there, and I've got the Glock uh, 19 in there. Uh, let me try to lift this up so you guys can see this on the camera a little bit better. Um, again, the 19. I'm going to go ahead and take the 19 out. And you can see that I took the foam and just kind of built up the bottom a little bit. Uh, that way the firearm doesn't sink uh, all the way to the bottom. I did break a piece of foam here. I might have to just glue that in. Uh, but overall, I'm actually very happy with the way this turned out. Uh, I would rather not spend $100 on a Pelican case. I'd rather spend $24 on this and buy some extra magazines. Because you know what, in a, in a serious situation, the Pelican case is going to do me no good, but the magazines are going to do me a world of good. Uh, one thing I want to point out here, uh, you know, with this case and probably with actually any case uh, similar to this, my Glock 26, I have Talon grips on it. Don't worry, I know this was pointed at me. This is clearly empty. Uh, I checked it before the video, and just for you guys that are wondering, we're going to check it again. Clearly empty. Um, 26 has talon grips. I love these grips. I used to hate this firearm uh, until I got these grips. And I'm going to do a review uh, later on about the 26 specifically because I almost sold this. That's how much I disliked it. Um, I, let, I let it sit in the safe for years and then eventually when I was getting ready to sell it, I said, let me give it one more try. Uh, but my point here with these talon grips, when you're putting it in a case like this with the foam, the foam tends to kind of get stuck on this and you know this really is sandpaper for lack of a better word. So just be mindful uh, if you have talon grips on your firearm that uh, you know it's going to be a little bit of a tighter fit I guess and you want to be careful with the foam. Uh, so once again this case is made by Husky. I got it at Home Depot. I got it on uh, Black Friday. I'm pretty sure they still sell this uh, and you can probably get it possibly online. I've got a Glock 19 in here with a mag in it, a Glock 26. I took the mag out, but it fits in there. And then I've got three more magazines in here. I could fit four if I stand them up. And you know, I've got a little bit more space. If I wanted to cut out another section here, I could probably fit another two, maybe another magazine here. For 24 bucks, while the foam was a little challenging, uh, I think this case is awesome. I've got one more at home, uh, and I'm gonna maybe put a couple of other handguns in it. Uh, and we're just gonna make it work. We're gonna take it to the range and, uh, and use it. This case is meant to be used. Uh, I know I did make a comment that this is not gold that I'm transporting. I know these firearms are gold uh, to myself and to many of you guys, uh, but you get the point. You know, these are tools, and in this case, is just going to protect them. So if you guys found this video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe. I've got a lot of uh, new content coming out on the channel, uh, and I'd like you guys to be aware of it when it comes out. So ring that bell, and you'll get notifications. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Guys, I know the video ended, but I did forget one thing, because uh, I know I'm going to get some questions about it. Let's just do a quick measurement right now uh, of the case and let's just see exactly how big it is for those of you that are at home. Uh, this is about 13 and a half inches long. 
by about 11 inches uh, deep. So about 13 and a half by 11. It's got locking latches. Uh, it's got a pressure, uh, automatic pressure purge valve over there. I would say having owned Pelican cases that this is just as good as a Pelican case, but more than half the price uh, less. So thank you and thanks for watching.